Hey everybody, it's Shane and I'm here to do a step climb tutorial in the Flight Vector 777 V2. First of all, I want to thank some people who've helped me figure all this out. I want to thank uh, a guy named Sierra who's over on my Discord server. He's been very helpful in helping me work this stuff out. Come check him out. He's He'll help you learn this airplane even better than I know it. Also, I want to thank some people over at the Flight Factor Discord. They've been very helpful to include some of the uh, developers. Den Rain. Uh, very helpful. Helped me work this out. But I've amassed some knowledge. I want to share it with you guys and consolidate it into one video. So I've seen a lot of questions on the Flight Factor Discord about how to do auto step climbs, all that stuff. Uh, I only figured it out recently. But for me, I do a lot of long haul flights overnight. And I do crew rest, i.e. sleep for like 75% of the flight. If you do that, you're gonna miss some step climbs because if you don't have auto step climbs enabled, you'd have to be here to manually reset the altitude and press this button to do the step climb. So if you're like me and you do and you want auto step climbs, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to your EFB on main menu. You're gonna click simulation then go to general airplane and enable this button here, okay? It's very important that you check this button or it's not going to work auto step climb if that's what you want to do okay now that you got that enabled here's what you're going to do next so you need to figure out what kind of step climbs you're going to do are you going to let the fmc calculate them for you or are you going to put in your own so auto uh creation of step climbs for the fmc would go something like this so what i'll do here is i'm going to type in k S F O because we're flying from San Francisco to Osaka tonight. R J B B zero one, and I'm using this because I've downloaded the flight plan off of Simbri. Okay, so you can see right there we've got our our flight plan in. I'll make sure that it's uh, looking good. Traffic. I don't want to hear all that right now. Oh, one thing I need to put in is the arrival. Uh, and you can do this after the fact, but I like to do it when I know what it's going to be. So we're on the Everett M. And ILS Zulu 24 right. Now this could change in flight, and that's fine. But I kind of know what I want to do, so... So ILS, this isn't really applicable to the tutorial, but I'm going to do it now because I want a continuous flight plan. 24 right. So ILS Zulu 24 right. And the transition is going to be Maya. Okay. Make sure all this looks good. No uh, breaks in the continuity because that would make the flight plan difficult to step climb. If you had a hole in it, right? We got a lot of fixes in here. But we have a continuous flight plan, right? So we'll go ahead and go route, activate. Now, you have some options as far as how you want to do your step climbs. So, if you want the FMC to automatically calculate your step climbs for you, what you need to do is put in the step size here. So IKO would be 4,000 foot increments for step climbs, which are pretty big, which means there's going to be long gaps in between when the aircraft step climbs. I think it's inefficient. I don't recommend it. Option two is you can do something like this. RVSM or RVSM. These are 2,000 foot step climbs, okay? So you would take this and enter it here in step size under the five right line select key. These are 2,000 foot intervals, which means the FMC has um, more options, right? It can step up every 2,000 feet as opposed to every 4,000 feet, which I think is more optimal and allows the aircraft and the FMC to calculate more optimal um, uh, step altitudes for you to go at based on your aircraft weight. Okay. Now for me 
I like to do manual step climbs. And why do I do that? Is because I like my step climbs to be in reference to my sim brief flight plan that I have here. So you'll notice here, it has step climb altitudes, right? At this fix is where you would step up to the next altitude per the flight plan. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the most optimal. That doesn't mean that you have to, but this seems to line up in my experience. These are more or less on point and kind of closely near the aircraft weight and optimal altitudes, more or less. So I want my step climbs to mirror this. So if I'm going to do this and not let the FMC calculate them on their own, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click zero and press step size zero. So that's going to tell the FMC, don't put any step climbs in. All right. So let's, let me show you how we're going to do manual step climbs at that point since we don't want the FMC to calculate them on their own. Because what the FMC calculates will be very different from what the SimBrief flight plan is. And that's totally fine if you don't care about flying your SimBrief uh, flight plan. Put our VISM in here and send it. Okay. I like it to match my, my, my flight plan. So step size zero. Now we need to get the zero fuel weight. Okay. So I'll go over here to airplane, weight and balance, weight summary. And I got a zero fuel weight of 381.3. So I'll put that in here. 381.3. Oh, wrong spot. Let's try it in the right spot. Okay. Reserves I'll get for my flight plan. Don't listen to that. 15.3, uh, final reserve plus alternate is what I like to use here. 15.3. Cost index. It's going to be 160 and then we're going to use the initial altitude only. 320. Cost index 160. Okay. Now, um, one thing that's very important for the auto step climb function to work, the MCP altitude can only be set to the initial cruise altitude. Okay. So initially when I was doing these auto step climbs, I was screwing this up because I was setting this to the final altitude, right? I was setting it to 380, for example, because I'm an MD-11 pilot and we always set the top altitude because it auto step climbs for you. It, it's just the way it works. That's not how this works. You need to set the, the initial cruise altitude only. How auto step climb works is once you get to the step climb in your flight plan, either what the FMC calculates or what you manually put in, what it will do is it will set the altitude for you to the next step and press this button automatically. If you have this set to anything other than the initial cruise, auto step climb is not going to work because it doesn't have a basis to start from. So it's very important. It's probably the most important thing. Auto step climb function where it does it for you, set initial altitude only in the MCP. That's it. All right. Now, I, show, I told you that we were going to be doing um manual step climbs right so this is how you enter them now if i had this on our vism or our ikeo these would start adding them in where the fmc thought it was appropriate and that's fine you can follow that way if you want but it's not going to match a sim brief uh, flight plan that's your decision how you want to manage that but this is how we're going to do it okay i'm going to go to the legs page i'm going to bring up my flight plan and i'm going to look for the first fix 45 North 140, and then we're going to put in our first step climb. 45 North 140. Right here. Now what I'm going to do is type in 340S. Actually, no. Let me, let me, let me take a step. Slash 340S. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put execute. Now you'll notice all the subsequent altitudes now change to 340. When the aircraft gets to this fix, what's going to happen is the auto step climb function will set this altitude to 340 and press the button and the aircraft will climb to this altitude. All right, that's all you have to do. Our next step climb is going to be at 42 North, 180 East. 42 North, 180 East. So now I'm going to type slash 360 Sierra for step and type it in here. Now you see 
all subsequent altitudes populate to that. Next one's going to be at 40 north, 160 east. 40 north, 160 east. Okay? That's where our simply a flight plan thinks we should step to. So I'm going to stick with this. And hit enter. Now all the subsequent altitudes change to that. Okay? Now if you do it this way, you still preserve your cruise speeds. You still preserve your top of descent. All that stuff is good to go. See all the altitudes change? <laughs> Excuse me. Until it's time for it to start descending. So that's how you put in manual steps to match your sim brief profile. 340S. Again, if you want to just let the FMC calculate what it thinks is optimum, you don't do this. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to um, performance and just type in RVISM or IKO if you want 4,000 foot steps. Again, in my opinion, RVISM is the most optimum if you want the FMC to calculate where those steps are going to be. And they will be dramatically different spots than what Simbrief comes up with. Different math, different uh, algorithms, however you want to figure it out. Um, that's what it's going to come up with. So there you go, guys. That's how you do step climbs in the in the uh, seven in the triple seven. Set. If you want auto step climbs, uh, simulation, general airplane, enable this function. Then set up your step climbs on the performance page, but step size zero if you're manually putting them in, or Arvism or. Ikeo, and there's probably other options too. You can do 1,000 foot, whatever. I, I, I think Arvism is probably the best one. All right, the initial cruise for the start of your flight is what goes in here only. If you do all those things, the aircraft will step climb automatically for you while you're taking a nap. When you come back, you'll be at that final cruise altitude just in time for your landing the next day. If you have any questions on this process whatsoever. Please come to my Discord. The link is in the video description. I'll be happy to explain it further. Or just post a comment on the video. And I'll be happy to explain it further. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. And I got a lot of setup to do still to get this plane off the ground on the way to Osaka. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Alright crew. Auto step climb is about to start. Watch it right here. Boom. You see that? The MCP altitude just reset to 34,000. We just passed the step climb right here. Now we've got uh, climb thrust. And we're climbing. I got out of my crew rest bunk just to come over here and show you guys that. And I almost missed it. But there you go. That took no action on my part. I touched nothing. I did nothing. I was just here. That's how auto step climb works. But I'll say it one last time because it kept messing me up. If you mess with this altitude, if it's anything but the initial cruise altitude that you started with, this won't work. So set it and leave it and let auto step climb do the rest. Alright, I'm going back to bed. Good night.